lol. Hello everyone, this is Levi here, and this is another Blender tutorial. This is a user submitted tutorial by SatSat590, in which he would like to know more about the basics of sculpting in Blender and making 3D models. So uh, I'm going to get started by showing a very helpful thing for making any 3D model, which is the background image. It can be accessed by pressing view and selecting background image, use background image, and load up an image. I've just got a simple pistol I drew. Um, just got to get to the right angle. There. Uh, I wasn't in uh, orthographic. That's one thing that's going to be very helpful uh, when it comes to modeling. <coughs> excuse me, modeling, which is orthographic and perspective views. Uh, what that is is basically one. It's more of a kind of how people see reality. Everything looks a lot more 3D, and orthographic is no perspective. Everything's just straight on. But uh, make sure you're in orthographic. You can change that by pressing 5 on your number pad uh, while num lock is pressed. Now, when it comes to modeling <coughs> symmetrical objects, what you want to do, at least how I always start out for modeling people and things like that, is take a cube, subdivide it, select half the vertices, press delete, and delete those, leave edit mode, go into your editing tab with F9, and add a mirror. This way you will be able to model objects that are completely symmetrical. Uh, so I'll just show you when you do something on one side it does it to the other. You could easily take this cube, just kind of extrude it uh, that's one very helpful thing is the ex <coughs> excuse me the extrude tool. You press E and it opens up this dialog box region. It will uh, extrude all the vertices selected, all the faces actually, and uh, it will extrude them as one. If you were to use individual faces, it would extrude them and then these would actually be separate. It would not combine the vertices. That's the thing, if you extrude it as one region, the vertices, like these two, will be combined rather than separate. That's the main difference. When you extrude only edges, then it just extrudes only the edges like it says, and the same thing with only vertices. By the way, I'm not using that background as a reference right now, but you could easily have a human behind there. Let's just make something simple. Uh, basically, the process you're going to use is just extrude, extrude, extrude. But let's say you wanted to cut some of these. You wanted a line that, say, went through here, but you can't extrude it again. You'd have to delete these uh, ones above it or press Control Z and go backwards in time normally. But if you use the cut tool, you can easily cut it in half. Uh, press K and you can either do loop, which will uh, go in a complete loop around if they've got, uh, or if it's possible. It may stop, like, as you can see right there, it stops where the vertices can't continue anymore. There's no faces for it to loop around. Uh, another great tool is cut midpoints. which will cut exact centers between one vertice and the next. It cuts through the center of however many you slice through. Press enter and 
as you can see a perfect cut right there and you can do whatever you would like with them and then there's the exact knife which will put the cuts wherever you place them or at least almost wherever and then there's multi cut which it's basically the same thing as midpoint cut except it cuts a lot now let's say you have something like this happen you've got a bunch of empty uh, or areas with no faces that you want to add faces to well it's actually pretty simple to do you select three or four vertices and press the F button and it will create a face now let's say you've got three face or three vertices and you want four for that face pretty simple all you have to do is press E extrude a vertice bring it over you can even open up your transform properties with N uh, click global and check the actually I could have done this much easier but uh, basically just line them up and press F to create edges too and then select all the faces and press F again sometimes this will cause problems and you will get inside out faces if that happens select the face press W and flip normals but obviously right there we didn't need it flipped so I'll just change that back I'm just gonna delete this and show you kind of how to model against a background image just position your cube. You can even go into wireframe mode if you like. And all you have to do really is line up. Um, also, another very useful thing is to move the vertices around. You can press G to freely move them, and you can limit what direction they can go into, X, Y, or Z, by pressing X, Y, or Z after. Uh, you press G and then it will only go in that direction. It's helpful for making more exact models. But it's just uh, pretty simple. All you have to do is kind of match them up or match up the points. And obviously, this is different depending on what you're modeling, but on something like this, it's pretty simple. and I think that's about all there is um, to teach for now if it helped leave a comment and I will see you next time and if any of you would like to know more about modeling just comment below also and ask what you would like me to make a tutorial about thanks for watching see you next time